Hi, my name is Doug Varia, and I used to be a big fat guy. I weighed 265 pounds, I had a 48 inch waist, I was type 2 diabetic, and I was insulin resistant. Until I discovered the one thing in my life that was causing all these problems. Sugar. Today, I'm going to prepare three meals for you. And I'm going to show you where all the hidden sugar comes from in your world. So let's start with breakfast, shall we? For our healthy breakfast this morning, I've chosen a diet cereal, fresh orange juice, whole grain bread, low-fat milk, and a banana. Would you believe eating this breakfast is the same thing as eating a full cup of sugar? So let's take the sugar we consume from breakfast and pour it right into our bowl. We add 10 teaspoons from the toast, 5 teaspoons from the banana, 11 teaspoons from the cereal, 4 teaspoons from the milk, and 8 teaspoons from the juice. Almost a full cup of sugar. Now what you need to understand about sugar is sugar is the first fuel to burn. And the sugar that we don't burn gets stored as fat. So if we want to burn fat off of our bodies, we have to eliminate the sugar from our world. And then the fat will start to burn off our bodies. Now let's see what we have in store for lunch. I went out today and bought a bag lunch from a very well-known restaurant. I chose a healthy chicken club sandwich, an order of french fries, and a medium soda. Would you believe eating this lunch is the same thing as eating a full cup of sugar? Now let's add the sugar we ate from lunch right into our bowl. We had 14 teaspoons from the soda, 15 teaspoons from the sandwich, 12 teaspoons from the fries, 41 teaspoons, almost another full cup of sugar. For dinner, I've chosen a totally fat-free meal. I've chosen pasta, a well-known pasta sauce, garlic bread using multigrain bread, and a can of soda. Would you believe that eating this dinner is the equivalent of eating another full cup of sugar? Now let's add our dinner sugar into our bowl. We add 21 teaspoons from the pasta, four and a half teaspoons from the bread, four teaspoons from the sauce, 10 teaspoons from the soda, giving us almost another full cup. The sugar is really adding up now, isn't it? Now, like most Americans, we're going to have a snack in the evening while we watch TV. I've chosen a healthy stem of grapes and a healthy glass of apple juice. Would you believe eating this snack is the same thing as eating a third of a cup of, you guessed it, more sugar? You wouldn't think that grapes in one cup of apple juice would equal a third of a cup of sugar, but they do. We're at one of our favorite grocery stores, and the good people at our grocery store have allowed us to use some of their sugar stock and one of their scales so we can show you how much sugar the average American eats in one year. Are you ready? Here we go. And there you have it. Almost 150 pounds of sugar each and every one of us Americans eats each and every year. No wonder type 2 diabetes is so high in this country. Now, let's go back to the kitchen, shall we? Welcome back. Are you ready to regain your health? Are you serious about losing weight, reversing your type 2 diabetes if you're afflicted with it? This wonderful book, Fat to Skinny, Fast and Easy, can show you the way. It's a road map. It's full of recipes resources, links to all of my favorite suppliers. Find out what readers all over the world have already found out. That removing sugar from your life is fast and easy. Losing weight is fast and easy with this book. I look forward to having you as one of my successful readers. Please order my book. For $20 you can change your life today. Thanks for watching and I wish you a wonderful day.